Hello everyone, it's Quest Crunches here today and we have a massive modding update. So basically, the reason why our textures were appearing in the My Documents data folder is because a little issue with the game occurred. So what we have to do is we have to place these sort of general settings here and as well as the display settings here. Uh, as uh, apparently the data, it was taking the photo data and put it in the documents, but it was going data, folder, textures, and then there would be the photos within there, and for some reason it was messing that entire thing up. So we have to put these little command lines within our Starfield custom any, which you should have created if you want to do any type of modding already. Uh, but basically you have to go to your My Documents Starfield custom any, you have to create that, just right click it, click new, and then click te text document, and then name it, get rid of the all of the text, the extension, make sure you have extensions showing, uh, which you can find in your view, depending on uh, which installation of Windows you have. So all you need to do is just rename this to the Starfield Custom Inny, dot Inny, uh, and then you'll be on your way, and then you just need to add these lines in, so the archive and validation, all that stuff, and then general, uh, enable message of the day equals zero, and also to tell where the game needs to store the photos. This setting here, you don't have to have, but I've added it in. Uh, so once you've done that, and or if you've already been installing mods and you have a data folder here, you have to drag this into the game directory. So you have to put it here, where this data folder is now, which is your Steam Larry, Steam Apps, Common, Starfield. But if you're on Xbox, I'm, I'm not too sure if this will fix it, but it might do. Uh, so just give it a go and see what happens if you're using Vortex for that sport. Then again, I don't think you use Vortex for your Steam game just yet. I'm not. Oh, don't quote me on that, but you may, may or may not. So yeah, that's all you have to do. And if you do that, it should work properly. You should be able to install it. I have done this in this way using Vortex. So to start off with, probably you want to download Vortex anyway from Nexus Mods and the mod manager will appear here, and then you just download this, download it manually and let it set up. Then once you also want an account with it, so make sure you have an account. Then once you've all done that, you can install the, uh, I downloaded the Grandal Bearwolf kind of thing, so you can install that by hitting this, and it'll go straight to your data folder. So let's just get this up, and see if it works. Now it should be, uh, originally it's just a white Grandal, so it would just be, uh, white, so you don't have to worry about that. And there you have it, the Grandal is now black from being white, so it's it's the textures work now, so that's all good. That's just a quick update. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.